Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Hi, hello, my name is Loie and today I'm going to be doing a massive, massive summer haul. It has been a while since I did a pretty big clothing haul so I have some things here to share with you guys for the warmer weather. Really quickly though, I want to talk about something that is super important to me that you guys may have already seen on my Instagram a couple of weeks ago. I'm currently working with Tampax and I talked about it in the Instagram post but of course I don't want you guys who don't necessarily follow me on all my social media not to know about this. So May 28th was menstrual hygiene day and this is a day all about awareness around of course the importance of menstrual hygiene as well as any struggles that people who get a period face with this kind of thing. The reason I'm telling you guys is because number one I think it's a really cool thing. I didn't actually know about menstrual hygiene a day before this year and now I am aware of it and I think it's really important that we take time to talk about things like that but also because I partnered with Tampax and they gave me a really incredible opportunity that just honestly touches my heart and I wanted to share with all of you. Tampax and I work together to kind of boost visibility of Menstrual Hygiene Day and in return they donated 50,000 tampons to an incredible organization called Distributing Dignity and I just thought that it was such an incredible thing that I got to be part of. Growing up it was not something that even my mom and I talked about very openly like menstruating and the entire process around it and I remember being very confused and very like I didn't know what to do or how to do it and that was me being someone who's very privileged and who has access to a lot of things like tampons and pads and other products that are specifically made for menstrual hygiene, a lot of people who get a period don't necessarily have that. The day was not only about awareness, but also being able to give that to someone else, something that is a very basic and human right. We were able to give that to someone else and I just think it's so incredible and I want to thank you guys for giving me a platform where I'm able to do things like this and able to impact people in a way that's so much more than a clothing haul, you know what I mean? Um, I just kind of wanted to put this into the beginning of this video to thank you guys, number one, to thank Tampax for allowing me to be part of this incredible, incredible project. Because of this platform and because of our family, we were able to give 50,000 tampons to people who needed them, who didn't have access to them. All in all, Tampax actually donated 1 million tampons across the United States. That 50,000 is because of our family. So thank you so much for giving me that opportunity. It's been a really humbling and amazing experience to be part of something that's so much bigger than me and so much bigger than my very first world problems and I'm really excited to be working more on things like this and being able to give to more charities and more projects like this one. So thank you Tampax, thank you to you guys and now I'm going to get into this haul. I have a lot of different stores here and I feel like in the past I've been kind of more organized in my hauls. This one is not very organized. <laughs> um, I'm going to start off with Boohoo and I guess we'll start off with swimwear. Yeah? Yeah, I got this really dope monokini. It's like a watermelon print, you guys. Look at it. It's like zigzaggy watermelony goodness. And I haven't seen a monokini, I feel like, in a while. I feel like maybe they kind of fell out of fashion, but I really like them. Um, I've never worn one, though. I like the way that they look, but I've never... Tr no, 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 that's a lie. I tried one a couple of years ago, and I did like it. It had a bit more coverage in front than this one, um, but I do really like the print on it, and I cannot wait to see how it looks like on. I think it's going to be very summery, very cute. I live really close to the beach right now, so I feel like, you know, I don't need more swimsuits, but they're always welcome. I also have this, and it's more of like a tropically neon print with um, those green, I don't even know what those are. They look like ferns, ferns on my booty. Um, and then the cup, I'm a little bit worried because the top is pretty large. I have this problem sometimes with boohoo bathing suits where like it's just so much material and I don't have enough boob to fit in there. But uh, yeah, that is this bikini and I love boohoo swimsuits because they're pretty inexpensive. Um, I just find I have better luck with their one pieces because they don't let you choose like this size top or this size bottom for bikinis. So one pieces like all in all tend to fit me better. So my last bathing suit is a one piece, go figure. It's a black base with a really beautiful kind of multicolored floral print. I think it's really pretty and soft and delicate. It has great, great, great push up. Um, and I don't know, I feel like I buy a ton of bikinis, so why not have some diversity in my closet? Yeah, those are the bathing suits. And then 
I mean, just the amount of clothing that I have right now to share. Oh, wait, just kidding. I also have this flamingo one. I almost moved on without talking about this one. How cute is this? It's like a navy base with all these really cute little flamingos over top. I have such a thing for flamingos, and this is such an adorable bathing suit. Um, I think this one, actually, oh, I love that watermelon one, but this one is a close second. It's so cute. It's so cute. Like, I don't even know. So those are kind of the bathing suits that I wound up snagging. I do have a ton of clothing and there's not gonna be a lot of rhyme or reason to this, except this is just literally what I bought. So I have this really cool, it's kind of like a sheer material romper. A lot of the times when I buy rompers, they're specifically very cottony and very stretchy. I do have some of those later in this haul because I love rompers, but like, I feel like for me, my sizing just, I feel like I need a little bit of stretch, you know what I mean? I don't necessarily want something that's like super stiff, but this one is really cute and I thought I would give it a try. It is like a really, really cute little wrap florally romper. It looks like something a woodland fairy should be wearing. It has a little tie for the waist. Um, it just felt very earthy and soft and delicate, kind of the way like a really pretty sundress would feel, but it's a romper, so you're a little bit more secure. You don't have to worry about things like flying up and showcasing all your undies. Next up is this super cute dress. Now, this doesn't look like much when I hold it up. In fact, it looks kind of confusing. It has this little like halter tie at the neck. I think my cat was playing with this because it's already fraying. It's got a nice open shoulder and then super flouncy sleeves that just go right off the shoulder like so. I think this one, as you see it um, being tried on, is gonna be way cuter. It's like a really soft, sort of earthy, terracotta orangey bronze color and I do really like it. On the complete flip side, I have this beautiful bodycon dress and I'm obsessed with this. I was eyeballing this for like a month at Boohoo, like debating on whether or not to get it. It has obviously pink lace all over it. It's kind of sheer there in the middle and then the lining picks back up there at the hips. The lining has a bit of stretch, which is so nice. I hate when I get dresses that are bodycon and the lining has like no stretch and it's just like a straight piece of material because I'm like, I cannot do that. I have too many things going on to just have one straight piece of material. So this is amazing. I love this. I cannot wait to wear this to VidCon this weekend. It's gonna be lit. By the way, I'm not showing a lot of things that I bought recently because I want to do a kind of like lookbook from VidCon. So you guys will see some outfits coming up really soon. The next dress is more of like a casual daytime sort of piece. It's a little bit like, it kind of looks like linen. It's like a beigey color, but the actual shape of the dress is very soft. So it has little spaghetti straps, just a little bit of off the shoulder action, and then it's just so soft and flowy and gorgeous. The dress itself is very lightweight and breathable. And I thought it was really, really cute. Um, I also got this dress, and this is also like more of a daytime piece. It's just this little gingham guy, and he hangs right off the shoulder, cinches it at the waist, and flares out like a little skater style. I love gingham. I love gingham in the summer. I have a lot of like gingham printed bathing suits and stuff like that, but I don't have like dresses or anything. So I grabbed that, and I think you'll probably see some things sort of reminiscent of that later. Um, oh my gosh, what next, what next? I feel like I'm on such a soft kick. I want to finish up with like the girly things from Boohoo and then get into the things that I'm like planning on wearing when I'm having a bold day. This is really freaking cute to me. This is a pure like cotton romper. It's so lightweight and breathable and it fits so freaking well. Um, the wrap top is a little bit big on me as they sometimes tend to be in these sorts of styles, but the actual shorts cover perfectly. I had no issues. I wore this the other day and it didn't like ride up on me. I didn't wear it like out out because I think the tag, oh, maybe the tag isn't still in it, but I didn't, I wore it around the house. Um, I love the sleeves too. They're like a really light little bell sleeve, but it's a cream color with that floral print again. And I just think it was very girly and pretty and delicate. This next one, they didn't have in my size. So I ordered up and I'm a little bit concerned just because the top is like, open open so it's like this really cool yellow mustardy romper um again it just has like shorts down here because it's a romper but the top is just really large i'm gonna see if i can just pin it like i wonder if there are little buttons or anything oh there is okay there's a little snap closure right here so hopefully it'll fit and work and all of that um and not be like too baggy or anything or 
get my bra out there, but I like how delicate and dainty this is. It's kind of like more boho, which isn't normally a style I go for, but I love the print. I love the color. It's just very summery and very, very cute. I grabbed this maxi dress and I'm obsessed. It is so pretty. It's like this minty base with florals all over it. It cinches in at the waist and the waist is nice and stretchy. And it's just long all the way down. It's gorgeous. I cannot wait to try this on. I've been on a bit of a maxi dress sort of kick lately. I normally don't wear them. I'm a little bit on the short side, I think, for maxi dresses. And I've always felt like they kind of overwhelmed me and just made me look even shorter. But I find that when I wear them with heels, they look really, really nice. So I have been loving them for more lazy days. I like this top a lot. It is just like a basic t-shirt, but I'm really into this whole corset built into the shirt thing. Um, this one is really nice because it kind of just brings in the sides of the shirt together. It just gives you a little bit more shape, but it's a really casual piece, so it's not like you have to fuss with it too much. You know what I mean? Like, it's just something that you can wear every day, but I think it's a little bit different from like, you know, your basic standard t-shirts. This one is kind of bright. <laughs> it's a little bit more yellow than I thought it was going to be. It is this long sleeve off the shoulder top. It's throwing my lighting off like crazy. It has little flutteries and it looks a little bit more golden on camera. In person, it's like a true bright, bright yellow. Um, and I don't mind that. I think I'm just more used to a true goldeny yellow color. So I like it a lot, but it's just something that's so different for me and so out of my comfort zone. Speaking of out of my comfort zone, a lot of this has been very soft, very fluttery, very floral. These are things that I got just to be a bit more daring because sometimes I'm like that. The first thing is this top. I love it so much. It's like cut out off the shoulder right here um it says wild in flames and it's really freaking cute it's just like a comfy everyday piece and i'm really into the whole like off the shoulder thing i think it just adds a lot to like a basic item that otherwise is kind of boring and then these other two things are both t-shirt dresses this one is just an olive green color it says legendary racers hmm i don't know I don't know, at least it's not a band name, so people can't say, do you even listen to that? It's really nice. I love Olive a lot. I didn't realize that I liked Olive until actually I changed my hair a little bit now that it's darker. I feel like Olive looks really good on like tan skin and darker hair, at least for me. And then this next dress is also a t-shirt dress, and this is the last thing from Boohoo. It's like a maroon color, and then it has this belt built in. I'm holding it backwards. Um, the belt built in is just a standard kind of black lace-up belt, but it has maroon um, like strings here, so it kind of ties into the dress a bit more. And you can see here, it's like literally stitched in, so it's not coming off, which is kind of nice. Sometimes, you know, I have like a smaller waist, but then my hips are pretty big. So it's like sometimes those belts can give me trouble. So having them like literally built into the dress is really nice, so you don't have to fuss around with them. And that is it for Boohoo. All right, so the next store is actually Urban Outfitters. Um, and the first thing that I got, I got specifically for an outfit that I have in mind. And I'm not, I'm not gonna show you guys the full outfit, but I'm pretty excited about it. They are these, oh my God, I love them. They're uh, lace up, obviously. They're not like slip-ons or anything, but they have flames on them. They're the high top ones and I'm obsessed. I almost got the slip-on ones. Um, they didn't have them in a 10. Usually I'm a size 10 in shoes. These are a nine and a half. Literally they sold out as I was buying them from Urban Outfitters so I hope that they'll work I've got my fingers crossed I have a few other pairs of these and they're really really nice you guys are gonna die when you see the outfit at VidCon speaking of vans I grabbed two kind of basic crop tops just like very casual um this first one is I feel like this one's a little bit more golden than that uh boohoo top that I showed earlier it's a vans crop top on the side it just has like vans off the wall just like writing and stuff it's really casual and chill but I like shirts like this for days when I just want to be more casual and then I'll wear like really tight jeans, like sneakers, or I'll wear heels and kind of give it a little bit of something extra. Um, and usually I'll do that on days when I still want to feel cute, but I want to also be lazy AF. So this is really, really cute and I like it a lot, but I also did grab this hoodie and it's just a red hoodie. Um, same sort of feel to it. It just says vans off the wall. It has checkering on the sleeves. I just thought it was really cute and it's really comfy, um, but it has like a nice, cropped length so it's not like literally every other hoodie in my closet a lot of the times my like go-to in the summer is high-waisted jeans and some sort of top or shorts depends on 
how sinking hot it is. And now I live in LA, so the weather's been pretty chill here. I can still wear long sleeve tops like this if they're nice and flowy and light. This one I just thought was so cute and it's really, really, really insanely stretchy. So I just think it'll be really comfy and amazing, beautiful sleeves. Like I can't praise this top enough. I just think it's gonna be so stinking cute. It looks amazing. Um, and I love like that ditzy floral print. It's very shabby chic. I did get two tops that are actually exactly the same. I just couldn't decide between the prints, so why not get both? The first one is gingham because gingham obsessed props and it's just a little crop top and it's tiny. Like, I mean, literally this is gonna cover up my strapless bra, but I feel like if I'm wearing the right bottom with it, it could look really, really, really cute. And I also got it in this pink and white color. I where is the front where okay 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 technical difficulties don't mind me it's really cute it's just pink and white striped it's amazing um i have no other words for it except that these are great and they're not gonna be everyone's cup of tea they're small but like for me i'm into it oh my god i found this super cute little animal print tee and i'm actually gonna show you guys how I intend on wearing this because this is really cute on its own but my whole thing with this was I love taking something very plain and very chill and layering it up and so I found this um, really ripped up denim jacket this is actually from forever 21 and the brand is called American Bozzy but it's being sold in like the plus section at forever 21 and this denim jacket is totally totally torn to shreds I mean it's just so freaking cool um, just like the distressing on it is so intense and then it has open shoulders and I've never seen that on a denim jacket before so that's kind of how I had planned on wearing this and then I don't know what kind of bottom yet but I think it could look really 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 cute together I also plan on wearing that jacket specifically over this top which some people may think is crazy but I really like it is this little crop top that is very reminiscent of that scene of Mean Girls where they take Regina's top and like snip it so that you can see her bra. It is a little black lace bandeau underneath a cut off white beater. So it is like a bralette, but it's already kind of um, like layered for you. And then you don't have to worry about any nip slip or anything like that because it has the material over top. So I kind of planned on also wearing this denim jacket with that. Speaking of Forever 21, I found these jeans um, <laughs> and they're covered covered in lettering. They're called the But I Love You push-up jeans from Wax Jeans. Again, I found these in the plus section at Forever 21. They are really stretchy and I'm sure that the whole thing here is that they're just going to hug your curves and make you kind of push up the booty a little. I'm really excited about these just because they feel really comfy um, and they're a really nice kind of light sort of denim and they have a lot of distressing and stuff. I just, I love jeans and I kind of um, have cycled through a lot of my own. Like when I wear them, I wear them to pieces. So I feel like those are gonna be the most comfortable, everyday sort of cottony, very breathable jeans. I have two more things from Urban. The first is this t-shirt from Gotcha. Gotcha was the major style influencer of the 80s and 90s surf scene apparently. I don't know anything, but I really like the top. It has pineapples on it and it also has it on the back. So no matter what, it's always a party, front or back. I really like this though because the pineapple heads are like growing out of shirts too. It's like it's a man but he has a pineapple for a head and honestly I'm not angry at the possibility of that kind of world where we all just have pineapples for heads do you guys ever remember back speaking of the 90s when you would watch the gushers commercial did anyone else get really freaked out because when I would watch the gushers commercial I would get so scared when they would turn into fruit that I never ate gushers because I was afraid that I in turn would turn into a fruit. Was anyone else afraid of that or am I insane? I apparently have had too much coffee today. So the last thing that I have here, it is this romper and this is from the kimchi blue line at Urban. I really, really, really like kimchi blue. Um, a lot of their styles they have in an XL and they're always really stretchy and really comfy. So this is a romper. It's a little wrap romper in this blushy color. It's a bit on the short side, but it does work for me and it does fit and I think it's really pretty. Um, I really like this a lot. I kind of want to layer it with like a black lace bandeau just as like a little pop of something because the wrap on it kind of goes low on me. So if I wear a standard bra, you're just going to see the whole thing. So why not make it fun, I guess? So yeah, it's just really plain, really basic, but I think it's a cool cut, a cool design. It looks really nice on and it's really fluttery and just nice for summer. That is it for this haul. I have to still pack 
for VidCon, so I'm gonna go and do that now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more hauls, make sure to give this video a thumbs up so that I know. I never know if you guys want like more fashion hauls or less fashion hauls, but you know your girl loves fashion, you know your girl loves to shop, um, so I would love to do more of these if you guys would like to see them. I love you all so, so much. I will catch you in the next video. Have an amazing day, and I will see you soon.